Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on March the 25th, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. Um, so today we had a lot of um, central bankers and coming up on Thursday as well, we have a lot of central bankers here. So first we have Swiss National Bank with their monetary policy statement, not really expecting to change or see a change in the interest rate here. But again, the commentary will be important. And then we have ECB, Economic Bulletin, Bank of Canada, ECB, uh, Bank of England, Fed. Uh, so basically central bankers um, galore here. So expect volatility. So basically what we're really looking for here would be forward guidance from the central banker. So any if they say anything about changing the monetary policy or tightening it in any way, shape or form, that would be negative um, for the stock markets, but positive for that currency. So basically, overall, we just need to watch out for comments uh, from the central bankers. All right, so let's move on to our charts here. We'll start off with the Euro dollar. We did see that drop in Euro that we were expecting. Now price is right into our support here that we have talked about. Um, in this case, it's still bearish, but watch out for that pullback here. So we may get a pullback and if it holds below, we are looking for that drop. So I'm looking for price to retest this previous support resistance level at 1.183540 level here. And if it holds below, then we're looking for a drop back down towards 1800 uh, or 1.1800 and 1.17, 1.1760. So bias here is bearish still for Euro dollar. Pound dollar here, there was a nice drop in pound, just like we had expected right into our target here. So looking for a further drop uh, follow through here, next target is 1.3600. And in terms of a pullback, we could look at, uh, we could look potentially look at 1.3720 level here. Or if we get a deeper pullback, it could go all the way into 1.3740 level. So bias is bearish here for pound dollar. Next target is 1.3600. Aussie dollar here, this one as well, we got that uh, pull, uh, sorry, we got that drop for prices into support here. So that's something we have to watch out for. Uh, bias is still to the downside. We just have to be a bit cautious here. And same thing for this one as well. Uh, I would look for a bit of a pullback here. And if it holds below here, 0 0.7620, we are looking for a drop. So bias here is bearish. Now, should it go through this resistance level at 0 0.7620, then we are basically back into this range that price was trading in and we are back into the mess. So it can go, um, it can go into that range once again. So we have to keep an eye on 0 0.7620 as long as, as it holds below that then we're likely to see another drop. So neutral to bearish bias here for Aussie dollar. And New Zealand dollar here, um, as we can see, there was a big drop here. So now price is losing momentum, uh, which means we could get a deeper pullback here. I am looking at 0 0.70 as uh, the pullback level. So basically looking for a pullback back into this area. And if it holds below, we're looking for that continuation back into 0 0.6920. But should it go through that, then we have this entire inefficient move available and price could move all the way into the top here. So we'll have to watch out. This 0 0.700 level is very important. If it holds below, only then are we looking for a continuation towards the to the downside at 0 0.6920. Dollar CAD here, neutral candle close. We talked about this support resistance level yesterday. This is a strong support resistance level. Price was not able to go through. We have a neutral candle. Chances are 
uh, we are going to get a drop here. So neutral to bearish bias here for dollar cad. Uh, thing to remember here is uh, all the commodity currencies tend to move together. So if um, dollar CAD is dropping, usually Aussie and New Zealand dollar both would be moving up. Uh, so should they change direction, this one could change directions here as well. Uh, so just keep an eye on all three of them together. But right now, neutral to bearish bias here, here first target is 1.2540 then 1.2500 back into the support level here. All right, let's take a look at our commodities here, starting off with silver. Silver, we have a neutral candle close here. Price is right into support. This is an important support resistance level. It wasn't able to get through, so we could see a move back up. So I'm looking for a retest of this 25.30. If it holds below, we're looking for a drop. Should it go through though? then we are back into this range again, and I'd be looking for a sideways move here again. So right now, neutral bias for silver. Gold here, gold still trading in this range. Uh, we have a small bullish candle closed here and looking for price to go back towards the top of the range here, 1752. So bias right now is a neutral, still looking range bound here, but looking for a move back towards the top of the range. Oil here, oil has been going back and forth. Um, it's established a bit of a range here now. So with this one, a neutral bias, it does have bullishness in this, but we could get in trouble um, up top here, 61.80. If it holds below 61.80, then I'm looking for a move back down towards 57.20. So bias is neutral for oil. Copper here, copper is looking bearish. It's still trading in this range and hasn't successfully been able to break it yet. But we do have this doji here, which means it, um, it may put this pressure on the support and we may see a drop here. In that case, the next target is 3.87. So bearish bias here for copper, but just be aware of that support right there. Uh, Bitcoin here, Bitcoin looking bearish. This is looking similar to what we, what we are seeing with copper here. Uh, similar, so, so we have a doji here. And we have similar doji uh, prices breaking through the support. It's already into um, our next target level at 51,380. And we could see a further drop towards 49,300. So bias is bearish here for Bitcoin. S&P 500, this is also looking bearish. However, it is into support right there. So once price uh, goes through this next target would be 3850. So bearish bias 3850 is the next target. NASDAQ here, we were talking about or we were um, expecting a drop. We got that. And now we have a evening star formation here. So looking for a further drop. Next target is 12,650. So bearish bias here for NASDAQ as well. Dow Jones here, this is also looking bearish. Now it is into support. We do need to see a drop through this support, but it is looking bearish. Next target here is 32,180. And should it continue, we are looking at 32,000. So bearish bias here for Dow Jones as well. DAX here, DAX also looking bearish. Uh, it's, I will look for price to come back towards 14,400 level, so bearish bias for DAX. For FTSE here, this is going sideways, hasn't really done a whole lot over the last few days. So in this case, if it goes through the support, next target is 6,600. And then below that, we're looking at 6,550. So neutral bias here for FTSE. And Nikkei here, Nikkei dropped. We are back into the support. We're into well, the target that we had set, which is also our um, acting as our support level here. With this, as long as price holds below 28, 29, sorry, 28, 860, we're looking for a further drop. Next target is 28,000. So bias here is bearish for Nikkei. 
So that's it for now. You guys have a wonderful trading day and I will be back on the weekend with the, um, actually, no, I'll be back again tomorrow on Thursday uh, with the market analysis for Friday. So have a wonderful trading day and I will see you later. Bye for now.